Hey everyone, something that really bothers me about people when they're talking about cameras is that the first thing that they always ask about is megapixels. Now why people are so bothered about megapixels I'm not really sure. Yes it is pretty important when you get to the low numbers, but with most modern devices it really doesn't matter. So to give you an actual definition of megapixels, it basically means a million pixels. Or to be more specific, this big number that I can't really be bothered to say. So basically if your camera has 2 megapixels it has double that amount, if it has 4 megapixels it has 4 times that amount, and so on and so forth. That sounds all good and all, but what does all of that actually mean? To know that we do have to get a tiny bit technical, but please bear with me. So basically every image is made up of little dots or pixels. And if the image is 1 megapixel, it is basically made up of around 1 million pixels. Okay, got it, great. So let's continue. So now you may be asking, why do I see two numbers when looking at resolutions? And why is that number a lot less than a million? Well, to get those numbers, we use something called aspect ratios. The most common for videos is 16 by 9. The most common for photographs is 4 by 3. And the most common for films is 21 by 9. If you remember back to elementary or primary school math class, this is basically the same as ratios. Or how many pixels you have in length by height. So basically the ratio of 1920 to 1080 is 16 by 9 and that's your 1080p. With 1280 by 720 being your 720p. Now to link these two things together, you basically multiply the two numbers together, then divide it by a million, then round it to the nearest tenth and that will give you your megapixel count. To go the other way, just use the calculator in the description, it's a lot easier. Now that we've got all the boring mathy stuff out of the way, let's continue. So now if you were to use that calculator to see what the megapixel count is from most videos, you're going to see that the megapixel count is really really low. And for this video that's been recorded in 1080p, you're only really seeing 2.1 megapixels, which are being shrunk or stretched to match your display size. Hence why a very low pixel size of 240p looks so blurry. It's basically because it's lacking pixels to fill the entire screen. Isn't that crazy though, only 2.1 megapixels? If you saw that number in a camera, you'd probably laugh. So you could carry that over to filters and you'd see pretty much the same thing. That's why you always end up with super huge images. Your camera has too many megapixels in it. The only time that you should really care about megapixels in current times is if you want to make a super huge poster. Or you want to crop an image down really really small. Or perhaps zoom in on a video as I showed in this video over here somewhere. Those extra pixels let you do that. Another reason is if you want to take advantage of 4K, which is 8.3 megapixels by the way. If you're not bothered about taking videos in 4K and you don't have any monitors or anything to display 4K then just don't worry about megapixels. Because believe me, pretty much any modern camera can capture 1080p video. Well as long as its CPU can handle it and stuff like that. Also just to throw this in, this is why the iPhones moved from 8 megapixels to 12 megapixels allowed for 4K video. So to bring this whole argument to a close, megapixels don't really matter to most people. But they will matter to a guy that wants to make a massive poster of his face and pin it to a skyscraper. And will matter to people who want to zoom into things far in the distance or want to crop an image heavily, which is most likely not going to be you. So thank you for watching, be sure to stay tuned for more tech talks and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.